Hey Internet, JB here, uh, as always, with my trusty co-host, JJ. Ah. It's Friday. It is, of course, new release Friday. We're here. I showered today, so I'm having a weird swoop thing that's happening with my hair. I also showered. <laughs> Keeping you updated on the latest, straight from Dark Side. Only the best personal hygiene mm. here at the Hudson Valley's largest record mm. Uh, so of course it's Friday, it is new release Friday, and as it is for every week, we have a slew, a veritable bombardment of new releases, reissues, vinyl, CDs. That's it. That's it. Okay. Just those things that are out for you today, and we thought we would go over them for you with this week's new release Friday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah! Oh, that's what it was. I always mess it up. <laughs> two, two times. Second time is somehow worse. Uh, so we thought we'd go over some of the things that came out this week. Uh, just like I said. Uh, and really quick, before we do this video. If you have not downloaded our app. What, what's the deal? You have a phone. You're watching this video on your phone right now. What if they have a computer? Then get your phone out, put the porn tab in the background, open up your phone, go download our app. It's free, it's got tons of cool things on it. You can uh, create wish lists, you can preview any music, you hold the CD up, scan the barcode, you can listen to it. Or an LP. Crazy. We're in the future. The future is now. That's the present. The present is now. It's not important. So anyway, let's uh, let's talk about some of the things that came out this week. Um, I'm gonna start right off the bat with my pick of the week. It's also the good Nick Curtis picks of the week. We got reissues from the BST boys. No one's this, <laughs> then all the better. All right. <laughs> so uh, we got three reissues from the BC boys this week, including their final album, To the Five Burrows. There is also the In Sound from Way Out and the Hot Sauce Committee Part D. Yeah. Now, if you don't know, this one here, they feature, uh, I'll just do it this way, this is way easier. They feature, uh, obviously, their last record, and these feature a bunch of the instrumental, sort of jazzy, solely cuts of the band performing their own songs that were featured on some of the albums. This is a collection of all of those, and it's the Beastie Boys. That's all I need to say. So, Beastie Boys fans, good Nick Curtis, whoever you are, come get it. We also have this. For those of you who are familiar with Beastie Boys history, the Beastie Boys started out as a punk band, a hardcore band, because they loved the Bad Brains. And we got in, which JJ just took off of our rarities wall that I hope came out in the video. Yep. We got in an early LP press of one of their punk hardcore LPs, Pollywog Stew. So if you really like the Beastie Boys, come get all three of these, grab this guy. A great Christmas holiday present for the Nick Curtis in your life. Wink! Because we all have a little Nick Curtis in our life. This is the most shout outs anyone has gotten in one single one of these videos. Uh, yes. Next. Um, also out this week is this uh, five LP box set of the Dragons of the Mind. And by that I mean the imaginary dragons. Or you need to imagine dragons, but you don't need to imagine this box set because it's real. Unlike dragons. Uh, sorry. I, I see where you went there. I'm with you. I'm with you. I feel Back like on, you believe in dragons. Back on track. Uh, yep. For five LP box set of Imagine Dragons. For uh, that kid in your life who loves Imagine Dragons. Keep them on the right path. Get them vinyl. This is a great gift. Or if you're a fan, 
treat yourself. True. All those things, true. Uh, also out this week, new from the deepest of purple. This is Deep Purple's The Infinite Live Recording Volume 1. You'll know Deep Purple put out a new record this year. This is a 3 LP, 180 gram gatefold, super sweet. I said 3 LP, right? Yes. Super sweet 3 LP of live cuts from Deep Purple, including Roger Glover, bass player for Deep Purple. I barely knew her. Railroaded my terrible joke there, so I'm gonna <laughs> let mine die. You're right. welcome. You're welcome. Deep Purple, yeah. come get it. Uh, next up from me, a reissue. Ooh. Ooh. A reissue. Ooh. Of uh, Mr. Tom Yorkie. Mm -hmm. I believe that's how you say that. Tom York. Uh, All Tomorrow's Boxes. Or Tomorrow's Modern Box. Sorry. So this came out a couple years ago in a weirder package, and now here it is back on a regular LP. Available for you, because you love Radiohead, and you'll give anything the man does a try. CD coming later, LP first. LP first, LP first. No one else chanted. Nope. Okay, we also have out this week a reissue from A Certain Radio, their album The Graveyard and The Ballroom. This was their debut album came out in, I believe, 1978. Woo. Uh, it was originally released only on cassette in a similar kind of translucent cover. And uh, it's been released on CD a couple times and it's finally now out on vinyl. We have one more from a certain radio. So all you certain radio fans, this is for you. You can get it. Uh, I've got, I'm back with new music now. This is the first part one of a Trace Park series of EPs from Bell and Sebastian. Uh, I can't remember what this is called. How to Solve Human Problems. Or so, what? relevant to you, no matter what, because presumably you're human watching this video. And uh, from the fine folks at Matador. And, yep, here's part one. Part two and three coming early next year, I believe. Uh, staying on the reissue train myself here, I've got the album Bridge of Sighs from Robin Trower. This Trower! The Trower of Power. He's been also called once or twice. You're welcome. I know you're going to be excited. So excited, you might drop Trow Duh. for this Trower record. You might drop Trow, or you might not. Trower... Anyway, this is his second solo album, uh, his second after leaving a Procol Harum. I don't know if that's the way you pronounce Procol Harum. It is. I'm being told it is. There you go. Uh, and uh, it was engineered famously by another name I might mispronounce, Jeff. It looks like you wrote Jeff Fefe. All right. I can't. I can't read my own handwriting. I wrote notes because I tried to be prepared. And then I couldn't read my own handwriting. Not this guy. Engineered by Jeff Emmerich, who famously produced and engineered a little band you might have heard of called The Beatles. So, uh, Robert Trower's second album, finally out on LP. Come and get it. Uh, my next pick here, we've got the new album from Wiki. This is, uh, he's a Manhattanite, and so this record is called No Mountains in Manhattan factual statement and uh, yeah this is one of the up-and-comers in the in the scene We've got features with uh, Ghostface Killa, Evie Jane, You're All Droog, you know a bunch of things going on here so if you're looking for some new hip-hop some uh, new not so mainstream hip-hop got you covered back in reissue land I've got one here uh, this album is in the studio with the Special AKA. Now for you ska fans, you'll know that the Special AKA is the reunited version of the band, The Specials. They put this out, this is their third record, it took them two years to record it, and it's finally out on LP from Two Tone. So ska fans, come get it. 
Um, I'm going not reissue, but sort of ish. We've got this record, Sincerely, L. Cohen. So this is a tribute album to Mr. Leonard Cohen, who passed away last year. Uh, there's a bunch of cool people doing cool covers of his songs. You got Holly Miranda, Amy Helm, Richard Thompson, Elvis Perkins, uh, and some other people. If you love Leonard Cohen, here you go. Uh, I got another uh, uh, re-ish here for you. Just like last week. This hey, week. we got a watcher. Hi, Becca. See you, oh, sorry. see you soon. I didn't parade wave. Oh. Oh. Well, whatever. So, uh, we got... My computer... Sorry to those of you watching. My computer just told me that one person is watching. So I thought that one was actually watching. If you're watching, leave them a comment. Say hi. Say hi so I can say hi to you. Yeah. So, uh, just like last week, we got more Judas Priesties for you. This week, we got two albums from them. Angel of Retribution and Killing Machine. I think there's one more, too. I want to say it's Painkiller. But, uh, so there's more Judas Priest reissues. I won't even do the pun train this week. But for you metal fans... Oh, we're getting some comments. Come get it! Hello to Arvin. And uh, Gary from Baltimore, you're a good man and thorough. Mm. Mm. He was the winner of uh, the Smith's prize pack and drove all the way here from Maryland. That's pretty fucking cool. So Thank thanks, you. Gary. Thank you. Now on to something I know nothing about. <laughs> We've got Tom Rogerson with Mr. Brian Eno. This album is called Finding Shore. And that is all I know. Presumably, if you're an Eno fan, you might know and enjoy this record. If you know about it, leave a comment. Tell us what it is. Tell us how stupid I am for not knowing this record. I'm fine with that. I know Brian Eno, but I'm not familiar with the record. That right. guy doesn't know either. See? <laughs> no. He was so quick to make a face <laughs> off camera. <laughs> At least make it on camera. Uh, staying on the reish train. I think I just got reishes left. Reissue week. It's, it's a reissue week. Uh, this one is the Kendra pick of the week. Motion City soundtrack. Even if it kills me. This is the 10th anniversary of this album. Uh, as you can see, they uh, redid the artwork here. It's kind of like an illustrated uh, version of it. It is on translucent blue vinyl. She told me this album was really important to her growing up. was slightly less important to me. I meant the watchers. Whatever. If it's important to you, come get it. It's for you. Uh, Gary brings up a good point. He said, yes, I was. The wife says we can't come back until spring, so he will be doing mail order, which, guess what? We do mail order. Thanks, Gary. Call us, Facebook us, email us, tweet us, or just go to our fucking website, darksiderecords.com, and you can shop any little thing your heart desires, parentheses, except the used items in our store. We're working on that part. But anything new... It'll get there. It'll get there. Anything new, it's on the website or our brand new app, which JB threw the card at you earlier. I do it again, but I don't have one on me. So imagine a card just flying at your screen. Or imagine a card would magically appear from the bottom of the screen... If we were prepared, if maybe that'll come, maybe that'll come. You no, know, she gives us notes up. on the air. For the oh, oh! summon Woo! it, and it shall be. And now, magic. Wow, tricks. You know how I feel after that. Oh, what a whore does for money. These are illusions. <laughs> Ruined my joke. <laughs> Now we're one for one. I've got Evanescence. <laughs> uh, synthesis. If you love to be Evanesced and you have essence, <laughs> you can be synthesized into listening to this record. Are these puns working? Nope. All right. Nope. 
Evanescence is out on vinyl. This was out uh, maybe two weeks ago on CD, and it's finally out on LP. This is, of course, they re-recorded and reinterpreted a bunch of their classic songs. And there's two brand new songs on it. Evanescence fans. What's your, what's your name? Amy? Ping. Amy Winehouse. It's not that. Amy Lewenberg. I think you got it. It's Amy Lee. All right, do that one, and then we'll we'll share our last one. Okay. Um, you ever just love something so much you want to steal it? Yes. Well, I you work, don't do that here. I work you come here. and buy Love and Theft, goddammit. No. This is Bob Dylan's reissue of Love and Theft. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It's 180 gram on We Are Vinyl. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. There's been a bunch of these that have come out recently. Yeah, a whole Just bunch of them. Continuing the reish. More, more on the Dylan train. It's a slow train coming. Oh, ah, oh. Ah, I got him. Mm, mm. I have no frame of reference to make Bob Dylan puns. Well, you might have countered with like it was a slow train coming, but there was certainly a lot of blood on the tracks. Oh. These jokes are hitting me like a hurricane. Well, if you desire, which is the album that Hurricane was on, I don't. You can get down in the groove. I could keep going. <laughs> You're up. Uh, so last but not least, this one is the Spangy pick of the week. Spangy. Uh, I had a friend who told me. Uh, now I regret, I regret saying whose name it was because now I have an embarrassing. Story. They told me that uh, they went to see this band when they were very young and uh, may or may not have had a first very pleasurable experience listening to the music. Well, that's awkward. So, uh, it is of course reissues. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Reissues from Kramstein. This is also the Fabian Your pick of the week. Uh, if you've been looking for Kramstein albums, they've been incredibly hard to find here in the States. They're finally here on wax. I've got Hassenlilt. I've got Lieben ich for alle da. It's my, it's my German, it's my German impression. Thank you. It fe this one features the song Wiener Blood. Wiener Blood? Wiener Blut, which probably means blood. Wiener Blut. And of course, their classic live album, whatever that says down there, because I'm not going to read that. That's just craziness. Uh, but that's not it. That's not it, because I've got some too. Uh, we've got Rammstein's. Rosen rot for when your rot is rosen. Rosen rot. Okay. <laughs> and let's see, we'll go with this one next. We've got your motor. Does that mean dead? I don't know. I only know it in the motor boater context. It means mother? It means, Shut up! <laughs> it means dead mother, I'm being told off camera. So. Everybody's a critic off camera. Yep. Never yeah. on camera. There's that one. And finally, perhaps the seminal one, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. Sensucht. Sense. That sounds Japanese. Sensucht. Sense. Sensucht. Sensucht. Um. Try Glazer. <laughs> this got your Du Hast on here. That's what you might be in for. Du Hast. Boom. Du Hast. Mich. Du Hast. That's all the lyrics Mech? I know. Is it Mech or is it Mensch? It's not Mensch. Du. No. Du Hast Very, Mensch. You're, you're, you're confusing things that are quite now. awkwardly right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so, reissues. We have. There's a lot of them this week. And I would be remiss. I don't know what's coming up behind me right if now. You, uh, <laughs> if you don't know what to get somebody, or you're just stopping in to pick up your Du Hast, and you think somebody else might like something? Gift cards. Bam! Gift cards. Gift cards. It's that time of year, people. We've got them. You don't want to think about things. So, there you go. Gift cards. How can you buy gift cards? Hey, you can buy gift cards in the store, on the phone, or on our website. Darkside Records. Yeah, come. Click the shop button, click gift cards. They're all there. You can get them mailed to you, or hot damn, we can email you one. 
The future is now! The future is an in inkjet printing, I tell you. And you could print one out. Have you heard of these? Make sure you refill your cyan, because it's all cyan. Mm -hmm. We print a lot of green. Yep. And, uh, you know, that about does it, I think. Yeah, so go download our app. Uh, you can see all these new releases and a whole bunch more that came out this week on our website, darksiderecords.com. And yes, you can order them. We'll ship them to you. You can come pick them up in store or just show up. Do it the old-fashioned way. By hand? By hand. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back next Friday. Yeah. And we'll be back on Monday for our Use Twos recap. See you in the bins. New release roundup.